Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday the 7th. No, it's not. It's not Tuesday. Why am I saying it's Tuesday? It's Wednesday the 17th of August 2022. The time is 7.08. We're out on the railway, and this is training session number nine. So we're into our last three training walks now before we start the running part of our training. And uh, so today we're moving up. Last week we did two 18s. Today it's 23. Um, now, if you're wondering why I'm going to 23 and not 22, it's because I have to find like a convenient point to turn around. And the old Hadlow Road railway station is the most logical point to turn around. And that, I know that that's the. Uh, I know that that is 11 and a half miles because if the railway is approximately 13 miles. The signs at Hadlow Road say one and a half miles to Hooton, so therefore working backwards doing the math, it is 11 and a half miles, which then equates to 23 when you add it all together. So it's just for convenience, so that's the plan today. So I guesstimate we've been doing 18 miles in four and a half hours. We're going an extra five miles, so walking at our average pace of four miles an hour. That's going to add on another hour and a quarter. So I think we can do this in about five and a quarter, five and three quarter hours, which takes us until about quarter to one. So that is the plan today. I'm feeling quite fresh despite a lack of sleep. I know I keep saying that, but last night there was a reason. The reason I didn't go to bed early last night is because I was, I was up in Preston for the football. So yeah, but no, I, I slept quite well. And I was just a little bit slower getting myself out this morning, but that's uh, not really an issue, so to speak. So I'm feeling good, ready for the challenge. Let's do this. was a Ryan airplane on its way into land at Liverpool, right under the flight path here, which is quite cool. I do like watching planes. Anyway, so through three miles in 44 minutes, so our pace is right on the money, but I think this might this is going to be a bit of a slog actually, because around the two mile mark, I had to pop four jelly beans in the space of five minutes because I hit a wall. I think it's probably... If I had to put it down to anything, it's that I went back to work on Monday and have done two days of walking, so I haven't really had any proper rest before today. Um, however, they have now taken effect and I'm feeling a little bit better now, so we're past that. But uh, we just have to keep pushing through because this, this is where the real endurance starts to come in. So three miles in 44 minutes, should get to five miles within another half an hour. Okay, just passing through Heswell. We passed the five mile mark at about one hour and 19 minutes in. So the pace has slowed slightly, but uh, just gotta keep pushing on. Um, still feeling a little bit tired, but certainly the endorphins had started to kick in. And just, just yeah, a little bit, still a little bit tired, but we just keep going, because that's what we have gotta do. Um, but definitely feel better than I did at the uh, three mile mark, so. It's all good. So we're still sort of time-wise, we've got so we've got another six miles to go. Or sorry, six and a half miles to go until we get to Hadlow Road. So that should take about an hour and a half. So we should get to Hadlow Road at about quarter to ten, I think. So that's the target. That's what we aim for, and we just keep pushing up. Okay, so. We're just passed through Parkgate, so we're through 7.5 miles in an hour and 50 minutes. So the weather today is uh, it's a lot better than last week. It's much cooler. Obviously, I'm still boiling because I'm walking quite quickly, but uh, the cool air is nice. It's not oppressive or anything. It's it's nice. So it's overcast today as well. So no chance of being heated up by the sun. Um, I think there is a chance of rain. Um, I'd welcome that as well, actually. But, uh, yeah, no, still doing well. So we, we keep marching on. Okay, so 
we have just passed through the nine mile mark. So in terms of walking, we're into pastures new now. Obviously I've been this way on the bike once, but uh, first time walking this section. So we passed through Lee's Lane at about 9.15, which is about two hours and 15 minutes in, which is about roughly what I'd expect. That's probably about right on the pace. Um, so yeah, doing good, doing good so far. And uh, yeah, we just gotta, just gotta keep going. So it's another two and a half miles up to Hadlow Road. Uh, so we just <coughs> keep pushing on. The thing is, we already know that we can comfortably get 18 miles in the tank. So we'll be all right back to Heswell um, because uh, Riverbank Road on the way back will be the 18 mile point. It's after that that it's gonna get, to, uh, that's gonna be the tough bit, but uh, feeling good. Yeah, still doing okay. Tiredness has kind of gone away a little bit. So uh, yeah, just keep pushing on. Okay, we've reached our halfway point. This is Hadlow Road signal box. We are stood on the old track, which is still in place. There's one of the old platforms on the old waiting shelter. The old semaphore signal. The old station building still intact in its beautiful originality. And the main platform still in great condition. So, quite a bit of history here. It's, uh, yeah. Only time I'll ever be able to walk down a railway track, that's for sure. So, I think my measuring might have been a little bit out because we got here by 9.40 and there's no way on this earth that I could walk two and a half miles in 25 minutes. So I think my measuring might have been a little bit out, but the thing is you can never take for granted. Oh look, the old London and North Western and Great Western Railways notice. Oh, that's cool. Okay then, back we go. See here it does say Hooton one and a half miles, so it's, uh, there's definitely only one and a half miles from this point. As you can see, the original level crossing still exists. So, oh yeah, so that sign there says less than two miles, so I don't know, I don't know. I guess the only way we're really gonna know is when we get back to West Kirby, and that's gonna tell us what the mileage is. If it's not quite up to 23, I'll just have to do a little loop to get it up to 23. Um, but yeah, so, that was Hadlow Road, and now we're on our way back. Okay, so, turns out that there was a slight miscalculation on the diagrams, because as I got back to Lee's Lane, I just out of curiosity decided to have a look on Strava and we'd only done 12.7 miles, which means that it was only two miles or just very slightly just under two miles from Lee's Lane up to Hadlow Road, which I'm not actually that bothered about because my original plan was to go up in fours, it's so like two miles further each time. So actually it works better because that means it will be 22 miles now and not 23 because trying to do an extra five miles in one go is usually a bit too much. So, yeah, no, that, that works good. So, uh, I just, um, on the way back, sort of between Hadlow Road and Lee's Lane there, I'd have to pop a few more jelly beans, but the uh, thing is, if I've learnt one thing today, it's that I definitely need rest days before the long distance. Obviously, I can't do that now going forward because I'm in work. But I'm going to have to make sure that I get the week off before the marathon because otherwise I'm just going to, like, it's, it's, it's not going to be doable because the physicality of my job, I can't go from that straight into walking long distance because, like, obviously, by the time I get back to West Kirby, I'll have done 22 miles. I was tired after mile three because I've been at work. So, yeah, yeah, doing good so far and we just keep going. Okay, just recently passed through the 14 and a half mile mark. So, yeah, doing okay, doing okay. Uh, it's just a case of keeping going at this point. It's, uh, it's one foot in front of the other. It's just that rhythm, that, that mentality of, of keeping going. Um, so, if I'm gonna... Now, when I looked on Strava before, my pace was 4.07 miles an hour. As long as we keep the pace at four miles an hour, that's fine. Now, thinking of that pace in order 
to get back to the studio in West Kirby for 12.30. Um, we need to be back through Heswell at 11.15. It's now 10.41, so we've got 35 minutes to get back there. So we're, I'd say we're on schedule, pretty much. So yeah, just keeping going. Okay, so we've just passed our 17 mile marker at Riverbank Road. And I'd like to think, yeah, we're doing okay. Although everything is starting to ache now. Legs, feet, but we just keep going, because that's what we do. Pace-wise, we're doing really well, um, because we've just whacked out. We passed through here, I think 8.17 or something like that. And then we did another, we've done 12 miles since then because we did 6 miles to Hadlow Road and 6 miles back again. So it's a 12 mile segment, which at 4 miles an hour should take about 3 hours. And we've just done it in about 2 hours 55. In fact, like, no, maybe, maybe closer to 2 hours 50 actually. So, yeah, we're doing really well. Perhaps that's why, that's why I'm so exhausted because I'm pushing the, pushing the pace. But anyways, yeah, so 5 miles to go. Okay through Thurston, which is the 19 mile point at 11.47. I've just got a single-minded determination now. Just one foot in front of the other. Three miles to go. Let's do it. Okay, that is training session nine, all done and dusted. You know, I feel pretty good. There was a few moments, like even in the first couple of miles, where I thought, can I actually do this today? But I kept going, I persevered. And I got it done. Three things I've learned today. Number one, for God's sake, get enough sleep. Like, if you ever undertake anything like this, anybody just make sure you get enough sleep because trying to do it on less sleep just doesn't help at all. Number two, when it comes to the actual marathon, I'm going to need at least a couple of days rest before I go. That much I've also worked out today. Number three, I can't remember what number three is. There was a third thing, I can't remember. It might come back to me. Um, but yeah, so, all in all, oh, I know what number three was. Take my big power bank with me. My tiny little one just doesn't hold as much power. And for some reason, my phone was, I had, I did, when I saw the battery was going down, going down a bit quicker, I, I, I went on Pokemon Go for like less than 10 minutes. Um, anyway, it, uh, the battery just kept going down and down. For, I've taken the small power bank with me, but I think in total that had about maybe 60% worth of juice total. And I mean, I got lucky. I got back here with the, with the phone at 9% on power saving mode. So that's the third thing. Take the bigger power bank, the ultra power bank, fully charged. That was the third thing. Okay, so that's going to do us for today. So today's Wednesday. Next session will be on Sunday. We'll do the same one again. Um, so yeah. Um, if you want to give us a follow on socials, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at This Is Neats. If you'd like to support me on my journey to the London Marathon and beyond, um, you can find the link in the description to my Dementia UK Just Giving page. Um, it'd be great if you could donate and support this fantastic cause. And uh, all that's left for me to say, oh, apart from... If you enjoyed the video, like and sub, all helps, sort of part of the long, the long game, the long journey. And all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.